Hi everyone, I'm Michael Burke. Welcome to another LEX 18 Digital Conversation. It has been a whirlwind year for my guest today, the current Miss Kentucky, Laura Jones. She has competed in the Miss America pageant, then spent a year crisscrossing the state, raising awareness about eating disorders. Laura, welcome. Thank Thanks you. for being here today. We Thank appreciate you for it. having me. Well, let me first off start off by asking about uh, your mission regarding the eating disorders. Mm -hmm. um, why was that your cause, your mission? So whenever you have a platform, especially in this system, they encourage you to choose something that you are extremely passionate about, maybe even something that you've been through. And for me personally, an eating disorder is something that I struggled with for a couple of years, um, about five or six years ago. So uh, for me, having gone through it, I thought not many people, uh, when I was going through it, talked about it or, or mentored me through it. And I really wanted to be that voice or that, that safe place for maybe young people who had gone through it before. So it was something I really was passionate about and wanted to create awareness about. And for obvious reasons and you had a very solid foundation for it as well. Yes. So that makes that makes yes. perfect sense. Um, okay, so take us back to the moment it happened. Your crown, uh, Miss Kentucky. Yeah. What was it like? What, what, what's going on in your mind? I, it was a, it was honestly a blur and it, this was a 10-year dream for me. So I competed in the teen competition for about four years. Um, it took me four years to win and then mm -hmm. competed for Miss Kentucky for three years and then took a year off and came back. And the year that I came back, I won. And I'll tell you, I mean, when you're standing up there with with the other girl and you're you're waiting to hear who's going to be first runner up and who's going to be Miss Kentucky, it's just you're in cyberspace up here. Like you have no idea what's going on, and then all you want to do is is hear your your name called as Miss Kentucky, and it, the rest is a blur. So. And you mentioned you had been competing for many years, and mm -hmm. I'm guessing you were not alone in that. You and and many of the other young ladies did yes. as well. Yes. It becomes kind of like a sisterhood. Talk about your relationship with the others. It does absolutely. Some of these girls that I competed with last year and in the years uh, in years past are some of my best friends. I mean, some of the girls, uh, even the the past Miss Kentuckys, I've learned a lot from them this year. You know, when I was in a situation that I'd never been in before or was going to speak somewhere or perform somewhere or didn't know what to wear or just something very simple, mm -hmm. I'd call the past Miss Kentuckys who had been there before who were friends of mine and say, hey, how did you do this? How did you handle this situation? What did you wear? Um, and, it, and it really is. It's a sisterhood. And then, of course, once you're crowned Miss Kentucky, you have to be elevated to a national level and go yeah. compete in the Miss America pageant. What yeah. was that experience like? Completely unlike what you watch on television. Um, it, on TV, it, it seems so unattainable and it seems so um, un unreachable. But when you're there, it's you, you kind of do what you've always done. You're like, this is a pageant. I've done a million of these. I can do this. Uh, the only difference is it's on live television. So if you mess up, you just got to keep going, which you should do anyway. But just the whole idea of being on live television, having celebrity judges, it's just a very surreal experience. So you told me you grew up in the Louisville area, surrounding areas, but spent most of your year, most of your reign anyway, yes. as a, a, a Lexington resident. Yeah. Discuss that a little bit. Well, uh, as soon as you win Miss Kentucky, they encourage you to move to Lexington. Uh, and the reason for that is Miss Kentucky is uh, the uh, official spokesperson for the Kentucky Proud program in the Kentucky Department of Agriculture. So they are who I was technically employed by this year. and. So they like you to be local to Lexington, Frankfurt area, uh, so that you have easy access to them. And, and when they, you know, ask you to travel somewhere, you're able to um, just communi communicate with them more more easily. But yeah, I love Lexington. Uh, I found I found a home here. That's for sure. I have family that lives here too. So so it already was home a little bit. Anything you learned about the bluegrass that maybe you didn't know, even though you grew up here? I, it's a lot bigger than I expected it was. <laughs> I really traveled from coast to coast, from yeah. Carlisle County all the way to Pike County. So it was just a joy to travel this year. And, and my goal was to visit all 120 counties. I made it to not quite 120, but close. Right. And uh, I, I just, I've seen so many parts of Kentucky and even more importantly, met so many people um, who are so hospitable that I never would have gotten the opportunity to meet if it not if it were not for this crown. So now on July 3rd, we're about two weeks away from a new Miss Kentucky taking mm -hmm. the reins. Mm -hmm. What is that young lady going through right about, right about now? Well, she doesn't know, first of all. She has no idea she's about to be Miss Kentucky. Yeah. <laughs> Her world's about to be changed uh, forever. But all of the contestants, I have to say, we have an incredible group of about 30 local title holders. And on July 1st, um, a new Miss Kentucky will be crowned. And uh, 
her life will be changed. So right now, most likely she's preparing and working out, getting ready for swimsuit and, and answering a lot of interview questions, preparing for that interview with judges. Mm -hmm. So uh, lots of prep goes into this. You are about to experience some changes as well because you're yeah. about to trade in the crown for yes. potentially a graduation cap down the road. Yes. Talk about your future plans with school. Well, I've already graduated from um, my undergrad mm -hmm. uh, college, so um, I graduated from Kentucky Christian University in May of 2016. Uh, but yes, I am going on to pursue my master's in counseling mm -hmm. uh, from Lindsey Wilson College. And uh, luckily, all of that will be online. Uh, they have an incredible online program, so I'm really looking forward to becoming a student there and uh, getting my uh, see, master's of education in counseling. So Good for you. Good for you. Tell me about this CD you and your sister have. Oh, so me and uh, my, used to be my sister, Queen Chapel, uh, she was Miss Kentucky's Outstanding Teen 2016. We have mm -hmm. since crowned a new Miss Kentucky's Outstanding Teen for 2017. Uh, but, but Chapel and I have the same talent. We both are fiddle players and violin players. And so we made a CD together in order to raise money for the Children's Miracle Network, which is Miss America's national platform. And to also kind of give back to the Miss Kentucky Scholarship Organization. So this this whole organization is built on volunteers and scholarship, and it's incredible. I'll make a bad political analogy here. They say some presidents leave the White House kicking and screaming. <laughs> Others, after eight years, or if it's four, are very happy to yeah. leave the White yeah. House when it's time. What about you? Are you ready for this to be over, or will it be a little uh, a little bittersweet for you? It's definitely bittersweet. I, there are some parts, obviously, that could not be done more than a year. Uh, as much as Miss Kentucky travels, um, it's about five to six days a week, yeah. and, it, and it's a lot of traveling. So I am looking forward to a little more consistency and routine and um, being stationary for a little bit, but I really am going to miss the job, and I'm going to be, I'm going to miss being called Miss Kentucky. That yeah. has kind of become part of my identity this year so it's gonna it's definitely well, bittersweet you'll always be Miss Kentucky right just like the president is always <laughs> for Mr. 2016 yes, yeah, yes exactly um, okay so final question your most memorable experience as Miss Kentucky this year was fill in the blank mm. I don't know if that could be narrowed down to one thing uh, I got the you opportunity could give me two or three. okay yeah. well in general I I had the opportunity to speak at many, many schools mm -hmm. in Kentucky, and obviously that was funded by the Kentucky Department of Agriculture. But one thing that I did new this year that No Miss Kentucky has done is, is got to travel on the Mobile Science Center that they have. It's basically a classroom on wheels that they travel from elementary school to elementary school and teach kids about the resources of Kentucky and uh, where their food comes from and that kind of thing at, at a young age. And there was this one little girl that was such a diva. She was adorable, but she was in preschool. And she saw, I was wearing new shoes that day, and, and I had gotten mud on my shoe. They were just tennis shoes. but. I had said during the day, man, I got some mud on my shoe, dang it. And she must have heard that. And she went and grabbed a baby wipe and literally started cleaning off my shoe. And she yeah. said, you're Miss Kentucky. You shouldn't be cleaning off your own shoes. And I just thought, See, everybody knows. I've never felt more like a celebrity than right now. Um, but she, she's precious. And, and like all the other kids that I got the opportunity to speak to, whether they were in elementary school, middle school, high school, um, just the opportunity to get to have a message and a voice in their life for just a few minutes was such an honor. Laura Jones is yeah. the outgoing Miss Kentucky for at least another couple of weeks anyway. Yeah. You told me your first TV interview when you took the reins. Yep was here with Lee Cruz. It was. Now it your was. last is here with me, so I feel yes. honored. Well, I'm honored. I, this has come full circle for me. My my first interview as Miss Kentucky, two days after I was crowned, was here at LAX 18. And uh, now, 11 days before I pass it on, here we are well, again. don't do another so. one. Make this the last. Yes. So that way we can have the book will. in. We'll have That's the, book the plan. In. All right. Thanks so much. Thank you. Well done this year. Thank you so much. All right, I appreciate bet. it. And thanks for joining me on this digital conversation for LEX18. You can find more digital conversations online at lex18.com. Thanks for watching.